Then we get in, we squish. Although I think my feet are not squishing as much. That's, then we splat it in just to make sure. Hello, beautiful humans. This is Minty D in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Now, we've just been walking around the back streets around the Luero district, and we've found someone who's making mud bricks. So I've always been curious to know what goes into the process of actually making the mud brick itself, and that whole process of collecting the mud, drying it, and then putting it into the furnace. So let's go say hello. Let's have a chat to this lovely gentlemen and learn about how to make mud bricks. Let's go! Let me take my shoes off. Yes, and the stockings. <laughs> so here we are. We're in a big plot here of beautiful, moist, fresh mud, ready to make mud bricks. Jesus. Yeah. I thought you said Jesus. And I thought, Jesus is here. I'm meeting Jesus. minti. So, I'd like to know how long you've been making mud bricks for. Five years. So five years. And what is the biggest challenge for you working in this job? So it costs 250,000 shillings to buy a truckload of charcoal and well, firewood to be able to burn hot enough in the furnace to cook the bricks. So that biggest challenge is actually finding the money to pay for the firewood to create the bricks. So that's the biggest challenge. Can you show me how to dig this? Kakati tugende. Okay, Luke, let me help you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here I go to end it. So, as we're doing this, I can do it solo now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as we're doing this, I can, oh, I can feel how tough it is. I thought I was going to be okay alone and I'm failing. It is a tough job, it is labour intensive, but the nice thing about doing it at this time of day is that actually it is quite cool, you don't have the sun beating down on your back. However, I should imagine when it's right in the middle of the day, oh my gosh, I'm not doing very well, am I? You're going to need lots of power and lots of energy. Kakati kawunga. Do you eat kawunga to help keep you strong? Oh. So then, Wali? Wanu. Wanu, what you take? Get up. Oh, yeah. And as we pull, I can feel how oh, far out. It is a tough job. Richard. Richard, let me check your muscles. Auntie wanna see you can not gambi when the juice are went. Bemba over the way we which be the sentence for me always. Which be the mazoku to Kakumati in the Kuma? The Ivan broke in. Was it about Bemwezo Muramba? My channel Yaka Saint Yakanyamba. So Richard is saying that the whole process of pulling the mud over and moving it from one pile to the next to make sure that it's mingled well takes 
two weeks. So that's two solid weeks to make sure that it is in the right condition in order to go underneath the tarp. And then remember, when it's underneath the tarp, it takes another one month for it to become ready to then be made into mud bricks. So we need to make sure that we squish it down. It's brought forward, as you can see. Then we get in, we squish. Although I think my feet are not squishing as much because we want to make sure that the brick, the mud is compacted down. We're going to get as much as we can down like this. Amazi? Neda. Okay, we don't need any water, right? So he's bringing it all in. And as I can feel, the, I can feel that the mud is very nicely mingled and mixed. Kakati? Right, he's telling me to do it, I think. So we're going to roll it into a ball and then, oh, in the middle. Hey. So what about this one? I've got, I've, I messed up this bit here. <laughs> and oopsies, oh, this has got a bit of, oh dear, he's already, okay, I'm slow. I better get cracking. It was a bad idea wearing a dress. There. Okay, I'm ready. We get roll it. So I'm rolling my mud. I'm getting it ready. I'm going to put it in. It's wiped down. You put it in. We go across like this. Make sure it's down in. We go another one. I'm coming in with that second side. Oopsies. Now we need to make sure that it's pressed down well. My little hands don't seem to carry quite enough mud. So here we go. I think, I think this is enough, isn't it, Richard? Is this good? So let's, then we splat it in just to make sure that we've got right through. There's a bit of a technique there. Yeah. So I'm watching what he's doing here. Scraping, splat, scrape, splat. So then we put some water on. Yeah. Just to make sort of put a solidify it. <coughs> okay. Now I've got to be quick. You ready? I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Slide it down. Go, go. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. Oof. Uh. Uh. Hey! All right, let's see. Now, like this. Uh. Then what do we do? Hey! Yoo! I made some bricks. So, hi. So we've just made two bricks. Your bricks are definitely nicer than my bricks. But now we've made some mud bricks. They're left there to dry. And then once they've got a whole collection of mud bricks dry, then they will go into their furnace and then they'll cook those bricks. Then once the bricks are cooked and ready, then they get shipped and taken off to build houses. So as you can see, it is a big job, you know, there's only one person working in this job at the moment. So Richard's the only person working, he's working alone. So that's, a, I think for him is the biggest challenge is actually being able to get someone to help support him because when it's just you trying to do all of this work, it's a lot of labor. You've got to mingle the soil. You have to be mingling it for two weeks. Then you've got to cover it. Then you've got to actually make the bricks. You've got to let it dry. Then you have to get money to find firewood, to bring the firewood, to then cook the bricks. It's not easy. So I don't know what you do at home or what your work is, but this is a very difficult job. Look at the surroundings of where they are. He's working so hard. It's evening time and he's still working hard. He's going to be working right until it's dark. And actually, even when it's dark, he'll still be working because if there is an opportunity to work hard and to continue to help to support the family, then it has to be done because it's not an easy job and family can't wait. And 
what's how do you stay happy? How do you keep your spirit happy? Angie, you know that you from Nairo. You from Nairo. Nende taba na neva nyamba ko. You kuvira ongo muri muguta ambura na na indi musanya. Hey, you know that you from na. You from Nairo mutu alonga nende taba umwa na ganyani kira ibitan. Kwa buri broka bajani kira kumina tan. Hey. Nen, nang kau bila yo, neng cakap buat entuk neng fana. Ibu aku bila yo kat sana zaman aku tak boleh buat entuk. Si kadeh ni tabah. One aspect that really helps Richard keep his morals and his spirits high is that he can go to work with his Boda Boda, which is a motorbike, and he can get some small income to help to get some assistance to help him with the work. And that gives him great happiness because it means that he's got some help and he's got some support. So make sure that you support local businesses. It's not an easy job. He's done this all on his own. And remember, it takes two weeks to mingle the soil just to make it ready for making the bricks. If it's raining, then those bricks can't dry. So this is all of Richard's work. And remember, he's doing this alone. So please make sure that you support these local businesses. They need your buying power. They need your energy. They need your support. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna head back down. So make sure you support Richard and all the work that he's doing so that he can continue to support his family. Let's go back down to Richard and thank him for the incredible work that he's doing. <coughs> I'm gonna wash my hands because when I give Richard a cuddle, I don't want to cover him in any more dirt that is necessary. Surprisingly, he's a lot cleaner than I am. Richard, thank you so much. Yeah, we're balling nyo nyo nyo. I wanted to say thank you so much for showing me what you've been doing, the work that you do, why you do it, how challenging it is, and showing me how to make the bricks as well. Thank you so much. We're balling nyo nyo nyo. Kakati, emu, biri, sato, tukwagala Uganda. Watch together. Hey. You have to say it too. Um, Beri. Beri. Sato. Tukwagala. Uganda. Uganda. <laughs> Bro, thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure that you support local business. Richard is here in the Luero district. He's making bricks. If you can support Richard and what he's doing, please do get in contact. Thank you so much for watching this episode and learning a little bit of what goes into making a mud brick. Thank you once again, Richard. Legend. Hey, 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 <laughs> Bro, you're a legend. Thank you, brother.